It's Miss Eva again from the Wellesley Free Library. Today we are going to make tiny houses, but I just wanted to also point out that we have a tutorial on making paper origami trees and paper origami houses as well. All of these will qualify for our summer reading badge for building something, okay? All right, so let's get started. I'm going to tell you what you need in order to make these two tiny houses. So what you will need to make this little house, which is really fun, it has a little door that opens, is a pair of scissors, a toilet tube roll, a pen, maybe a crayon if you'd like, a piece of paper, which I've decorated with my crayon to make my roof, and some tape or a um, glue stick. That's what you'll need for that one. For this little tiny house, you would need either some colored paper or wrapping paper, or in my case, I've been using origami paper. And probably it's a good idea to have two different colors, one for the um, walls of the house and one for the roof of the house. And then you could even use a third color for the windows and the doors, whatever you decide. This one sort of looks like it will blend right in with the background outdoors. So it feels like a little fairy house, almost like you could put it right in front of a tree and it would be camouflage and the fairy living in there. Maybe you wouldn't even, you couldn't see the fairy. Yeah. So that's that one. This one, I happen to have a piece of origami paper that looks like honeycomb, like the inside of a beehive. And so I decided that my base here will be a beehive base. And I need also a cup in order to trace a circle to make my roof. And because it's a beehive, I decided I would put little tiny bees. It turns out I have tiny bees at home and I will stick those on at the end just to decorate. But you could use anything you have, really anything. Wrapping paper, um, plain paper, construction paper, anything you have. All right, I think we'll start with this one and we will get started. Let's get our materials. I'm going to organize and remove all of the things for the next one. Hang on one sec. All right, I think we're ready to go. So the first thing we have is our toilet tube and our marker. We take our marker and let's see, I'm going to make my door here. This time I'm going to do a square door. You can too. Or should I say rather a rectangle? It should be a rectangle. And by the way, you could actually cut out a piece of paper if you don't have a pen and you could either tape it or glue it on. All right, here's my door. Oh, I'm making a little doorknob. There's my door with the doorknob. Yep. And what I'm going to do next is cut around the outside of my door on two sides. So first the side where my doorknob is and then I'm going to do very gentle cutting across the top just to the edge. So you'll see that I've only cut two sides and I'll just make a little bend here. And then look, the people who live in this house can go in and out through this door. It's perfect. Next, I'm gonna make little windows for them so they can see out. There's one and I decided to make some square ones. There we go. Hmm. Looks a little bit like a person, doesn't it? Do you see my windows? There they are. All right, now we can set that aside. We can move our marker and we're going to make the roof next. There we go. Ready? You take a piece of paper and you fold it this way. So you have it like that, and we're trying to make a square. So you cut along the bottom, 
from the edge that's sticking out, cut right across, and you have something that looks like this. Perfect. And if you open it up, you'll see what I mean about it being a square. Yes. Next, what you want to do is take the undecorated side, the side that's blank, and put that face down like that. And you want to fold it in half like this, what we call hamburger style, right? And then you want to fold each corner to the center, just like that. One and two. Perfecto. And it's going to end up looking like this. Next, we are going to fold over the two pieces that are sticking out like that, plus the other piece that is going to turn into a triangle, and it'll end up looking like this. And then you want to fold the other side as well. So you end up with what looks like a tiny hat. Look at that. I could put it on my head just like a hat, but I won't. I'm going to put it on my house because my house needs a roof. And there it is. So what I could do is I could tape it down or I could glue it down, but I kind of like it just like this because then my people could actually get in and out, not only through the front door, but they could have access through the roof. And you can decide who lives there. I'm not sure, but you'll let us know. All right, now I'm gonna take one minute and I'm gonna gather all the supplies that we need for this house. All right, I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. So what we need to do first is we take our piece of paper, which is in the shape of a square, about the size of an origami piece. Let's see what size it is. I should know this. All right. Hmm, it doesn't say on it. Let's measure. So one thing I did is I pulled my ruler and decided that I would bring it along just in case I needed it. So this piece of paper is five inches by six inches. That doesn't make sense. Let's see, it's five. Oh no, it's six by six. Yes, a square has to be the same on both sides. Six by six, okay. So here is a, a square that is six by six. It's a little long, but you'll see that that's okay for us. The next thing I'm gonna do is take my glue stick. You could use tape. I personally prefer glue stick. And I'm gonna rub it along this end and the sides and down through here, through here, through here, through here. Perfect. Next, we're going to take our toilet tube and we're going to roll it along the bottom so that it matches up with the bottom edge and we'll roll it all the way around, just like that. Excellent. Look at what we have there. So we've made a larger tube. And if you wanted, you could just build the hat right on top. But if you want to do a little tighter look, which I like, and also makes the edges look nice, you can just poke them in like that. And it also makes it more secure, so it won't come apart as easily. Just poke it in just like that. And you can see inside here, whoop, all the way inside. So that's it, that's the base of my house. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna take my cup. I'm going to draw around it with either a crayon, like that, or a pencil, which I also have here somewhere. And then I am going to cut out my circle Just like that, cut all the way around. And it doesn't have to be exact, but it's helpful to have a circle to work on, a little pattern to follow. Cut all the way around, perfect. 
we're going to put that aside because I can use this for my doors and windows. If I decide to have them, I'm not sure I will on this one because I think the bees are just going to live in the hive. All right, the next thing I want to do, so on this side I have the pattern, and on this side, what I've done is I've made a line through the center of the circle. You can see that. And what I'm going to do is make a little line also through in the other direction using my ruler because I need to cut a little bit into the circle. So I want to make sure that I have a guide for that. And I am going to cut like this. Let's see. And you'll see I cut just to the center. And what we're going to do is fold it over like that. And then we have our little hat, our little hat roof. And what I'm going to do is use some glue stick again. But you, again, could use tape if you don't have glue stick. I'm trying to think if there's something else you could use. Oh, I know. You could use a paper clip if you didn't have either of those things. All right. And we're just going to glue the edges there. Perfect. Perfect. Now, I think that we are all set just like that. But I am going to put some tape to make sure that that stays in place. And then I'm going to put my little tiny bees on there. But you could draw bees on there or you could cut them out of paper if you have paper at home or whatever other kind of little tiny house you want to make. But mine is going to be a little tiny beehive. So last little bit here. I'm going to just put some tape on this side and put some tape on this side so that I can attach my little roof, my little leafy roof. You could use any color you want. And like I said, you can also use, oops, let's fix that. You could also use a piece of wrapping paper, a piece of regular paper that you draw on. The sky's the limit, or I should say your imagination is the limit. I'm actually going to move my B. I think I'm going to put my B right into the flower because they're pollinating it. And that, my friends out there, is our tiny toilet paper tube houses. Here they come. Here's another one. Oop, oop. Bye. I'll see you around the library. Here are our houses. We're almost up to a village. Ooh, maybe we should add our tree. Let's add our tree. There we go. So we have a tree in the village. All right. Take care, everyone. I'll see you around the library. Till next time. Bye.